Hello all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry I've been kind of quiet these past few weeks. I had a lot of training through work that I was doing, but I'm actually now a certified makeup artist through Sephora, so that's really, really cool. But I wanted to jump on here and do a tutorial on the look you see here. It's a St. Patrick's Day theme, so it has the green and gold on the lid as well as a fun little rainbow on the lower lash line. But as per usual, I will insert a clip of what this looks like in natural lighting at the end of the video, as well as I will list all the tools and products that I use in the description box below. But without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, it feels so good to be back and filming again, but for this video, I'm actually going to be recreating a St. Patrick's look I did a year ago. So I will insert a picture of what that looks like. Now obviously it will hopefully look better this year. But for the greens, I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Bright Mattes palette. And I'm going to be focusing on this darker green over here as well as this lighter green. And maybe even go in a little bit with this one just on the very, very edges to keep everything nice and blended. I'm going to use my usual brushes. The one I will start out with is the BH Studio Pro brush in the number 8. So I'm going to start out with that medium green that I pointed out and I'm just going to focus these green shades on my crease. Like I usually do, I will focus the darker green on the outer part of the eye and I will bring it in a little bit. But yeah, I'm just going to start out with the medium. I'll go in with the darker one to deepen it up and then I'll take the lighter shade to put on the edges. Alright, so as you can see, I've taken that middle green shade and I've just kind of carved out my eye shape. So now I'm going to take the same brush for now and I'll take that darker green shade and I'll focus it on the outer part of the eye. And then I'll very, very lightly bring it inwards as well, but I'll keep it lower than that green shade I just did. So to build up that darker green better, I'm actually going to go in with these two brushes right here. This one is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH39 brush, and then this guy is the Morphe M321 brush. And I'll just use both of these guys to pack on that darker green and to just bring it inwards a little bit. Then after I've kind of blended those two colors a little bit, I like to go in with this e.l.f. blending eye brush. It's a little bit denser and I like to use this to blend out colors and also like I'll take that medium green again and I'll just put it along that darker line I have right there and it'll just kind of blend everything together and make it look nice and smooth. So now I'll take that same little e.l.f. eye blending brush and I'm going to take that lightest green I pointed out earlier and I'm going to put it right along this green edge right here just to kind of diffuse it and make it look nice and blended. So see how adding that lighter green just kind of made more of like an ombre effect? So I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to do my little cut crease section up here and then after I do my cut crease I'll probably go back in with that darker green again just to deepen up the outer part right here. But for now let's do the cut crease. So real quick off camera I just took some micellar water on a q-tip and just kind of cleaned off my lid there to prep for my cut crease. So for my cut crease part I'm going to use my usual Revlon Candid Concealer as well as my favorite tool to use for cut creases which is actually an acrylic paintbrush. As you can see, they have a really, really nice point to them, and they really allow me to create nice, smooth lines, which is why I like using them. If you guys would like a more in-depth cut crease tutorial, then please let me know in the comments, and I will make one for you. Alright, so I have my cut crease done, now I'm just going to take this little Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush I was using earlier, and I'm going to pack on some more of that darker green, and then I'll essentially just do the dark, the medium, and the light just to create kind of an ombre effect so it's not just a harsh line like it is right now. So 
So once I have that kind of tri-color thing going, I'm going to take this little Morphe M321 again, and then I'm just going to very lightly blend those colors together. Alright, so I think I'm actually going to do my lower lash line before I finish up my lid, but I'm going to take this little detail brush right here. I don't know where it's from because the label's worn off but any little detail brush will do and I will go back in with that Rainbow Beauty Bay matte palette and I will just go from purple to blue to green to yellow to orange to red on my lower lash line and then the thing I will be sure to do while I'm doing this is I will clean this brush in between using separate colors just so the colors stay nice and vibrant and they don't blur all together and look muddy. Alright, so I went on a manhunt and I cannot find my NYX glitter primer. I have no idea where it went. I'll probably find it after the video and be like, oh, there it is. But for now, I have the Milani eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to put that on my lid just to give the gold shimmer I'm going to put on something to kind of hold on to. And the gold shimmer I'm going to use is from the Lorac Pro 3 palette. And I'm going to use this shade right here, which is this really pretty kind of gold champagne-y shade and it is called Medallion. It just occurred to me, I should have done foundation after this look because now I have little gold shimmers under my eyes, but ignore that. <laughs> so now I'm actually going to go off camera for a bit and do some liner and mascara and lashes and all that fun stuff, and I will be right back. Alright, I am back. So I did a few things off camera. The first one being my lower waterline. I took this NYX eye and eyebrow pencil, and this is in the shade White Pearl. And I put this in my lower waterline and then I went back in with those rainbow shades I was using and I just put them in my waterline on top of the pencil. And then as far as my eyeliner and lashes and everything goes, I used the Sephora Waterproof Felt Liner as well as the Maybelline The Falsies Mascara on my upper and lower lashes. And then the lashes I am wearing are from Kiss and they're called Little Black Dress. Alright, so we're actually in the final step. So I'm going to take that little detail brush I was using earlier, except I have wiped off all of the shadow that could have possibly been on there from all those rainbow shades. And I'm going to go in with my favorite highlighter ever. This is the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlight Palette. And I usually go in with this shade up here, but because I really want to reinforce the gold because St. Patrick's Day, I'm actually going to use this one right here. And I'm just going to use that little detail brush and put it on my inner corner and my brow bone. Alrighty, so here is the final look. I actually really, really like how this turned out, and I'm so glad that I was able to recreate a look I did a year ago. I think it came out a lot better this year just because my technique and my tools and my understanding of makeup have just gotten so much better in just a year. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. It feels really good to be filming again. And if you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to me if you liked and or subscribed. Starting in April officially, I will be posting at least once a week now that my schedule isn't so crazy. But yeah, I will insert a clip of what this looks like in natural lighting, and I will see you all in my next video.